Okay, I'll tell you a story. Short story. Short story. Short story. Short story. No, short story. But you have to listen and ask questions. Okay? That's a rule. Listen and ask questions. Ten years ago, more than ten years, ten years ago, I, me and my friend, we had a club in Banska Bistritsa. Music club. Friday nights, we played rock music. People came. They danced. They partied. We drank alcohol. It was fun. Oh, this was we were DJs, so we just we just played music, and um, the club was every Friday night. Every Friday night, and at three o'clock in the morning, we finished. Everyone was a little bit drunk, but very happy. And and when you are very happy, and you have a little bit of alcohol. You don't want to go to sleep. You don't want to go home. You don't want to go to sleep. You want to go to another club and have another party. And so me and my friends, we went from our club to another club in the center. It's about four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. And we walked in and I was with two of my friends And one of my friends said, stop. I said, what? He said, there's guys by the bar. Bad news. Very bad news. These are not nice people. These, yeah, these, are, these, are, these are bad people. And my, 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 my friend said, don't, don't go in. And I said, what are you, <laughs> are you crazy? It's a bar. Right, what what can possibly happen? It's a bar, look, our friends are here. Let's go in, let's have a drink. And my friend turned around and he said, see ya, and he walked away. So, me and my friend, me and my other friend, we're like, okay, let's go to the, let's, let's, let, let's go in, let's sit down, let's get a drink. So I walked in, I sat down, my friend went to the bar, he went to the bar to order a drink. He was standing at the bar ordering a drink, one of these big guys, bang, right on the front of his face. Reason? Why? No reason. No reason. One second. No reason. No reason. Just, just, just because. Just for fun. Just for fun. Two teeth. Front two teeth. Knocked out. Then, ashtray from the table. Popolnik. Astrid, bang on the top of the head. My friend got it. So he got his front teeth knocked out and ashtray. Big glass, heavy ashtray, bang on the top of the head. And I was, I was, sit, I was sitting down and I saw this. I was, whoa! And, and I, I ran. Okay? <laughs> I ran. Like my friend was on the floor by the bar and there were three of the biggest guys you had ever seen huge muscles and they were all really drunk they were standing like gorillas and i i ran because <laughs> what was i going to do right what was i going to do was i going to go i you hit my friend! Come on! <laughs> no, no, no. No way. I was... <laughs> no way. It's five o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I'm a bit drunk. But I still have enough in my head to go... Nah. <laughs> right? No, no when to go. <laughs> and go when you can go. When you can go, go. Because maybe you can't go. Maybe there's more. Maybe there's another big motherfucker in the toilet, right? Maybe he comes out of the toilet and goes, Ah, party! Right, who's next? <laughs> you don't know. Go when you can go, because you don't know. So so I, I, I ran out of the bar, stood outside, and I waited. I waited. I waited to see who came out. <laughs> right, because if my friend didn't come out... I. We call the police, right? 
Get out of there and then call. Don't c call and then go. Go when you can go. So, so I went, came out and I waited. I waited to see who came out. If my friend didn't come out, I'm going to call the police, right? He, 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 after two minutes, the door opened. <laughs> came out, blood all over his face, teeth missing, blood on his head, cut on his head. Big mess. For one month, he didn't have two teeth. He went to a special doctor who put plastic teeth, or not plastic, I don't know, some special material. Took him to a taxi, sent him to hospital, straight to hospital. Me? Home. Well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do in that situation? What are you going to do? Call the police? What are the police going to do? What are they going to do? It's not their problem. It's your problem. It's not their problem. It's a bar. It's five o'clock in the morning. People are drunk. When people are drunk, they're stupid. When people are stupid, shit happens. And some people love drama. Some people love... So some people like it. Some people like it when everything's calm and relaxed and quiet and nice, and they can sit down. Some people like that, and some people like drama and theater and activity and action and being physical and fighting. Some people like that. It's their life. They're aggressive personalities. Some people can control it. Some people can't control it. If you're drinking alcohol, you don't have control. You don't have control. The alcohol has control, not you. Uh, very, very important to look around, like like radar, and to to understand what the situation is. This is very important. And when you, when you when you drink alcohol, you don't have that. You don't have a radar. You don't know what is good and bad and right and wrong. Uh, it's a very difficult situation. So yeah, always, when you go somewhere, um, you always make an assessment. Is this good? Is this bad? Is this right? When you're driving, if you're driving a car, you always do that. Every second of your driving, is this, is, is, is this safe? What are other people doing? Definitely. Um, you, make, you, you look at the situation and you, uh, you observe what is happening. But everywhere, have radar everywhere, in school, in the shopping center. When you go on holiday, when you go on holiday, you need radar. Because you're in a place, you don't know anybody when you're on holiday, right? You've got a good, bad, right, wrong. You have to be careful with, uh, with all these things.